Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon whenever you're watching this video. Today I will talk about the upcoming jungle changes in patch 14.6. This time I will go a little bit more in depth into the changes and explain how these changes will affect the jungle and these champions. I will try to predict where they will be on a tier list based on these buffs and nerves, but for my full tier list you have to wait probably until Friday. My name is Professor Forrest and I am a master tier jungle main. If you are interested in coaching, join my Discord server where you will have a chance of getting free jungle coaching as well. Now let's see the jungle buffs and the first one is for Diana. So Riot decided to buff her attack speed which overall is welcome. This change alone won't solve her problem in the jungle. Even if it will be easier to keep up her passive attack speed for longer, sure it's a nice change but her clear was already really good. If you played her last season you know that her speed was very similar to Carter's being one of the fastest in the game. But the biggest problem or like one of the biggest is that her items were changed. Now the rocket belt got worse even if it's cheaper and Nasher's suit was also nerfed. Now I'm not saying that Tank Diana was alright and wasn't broken because that was really unhealthy for the game but we can't even be at a weaker version of the build to at least somewhat match other junglers. Now we have Storm Surge at least and considering how much AP and magic pen we get is pretty much a no brainer choice to go with that item. But then we lose our extra dash from the rocket bat so the poor it daughter problem is the opponent she is facing in the jungle. Just a few examples. Bellwent, Briar, Master Yi, Jax, Viego, Warwick and the recently buffed Oliver. All these champions are destroying her and all these champions are meta right now. Storm Surge is a good item for her but if she ever gets invaded by any of these champs she dies. So this is why I think she remains B tier at best and she is a way better mid laner where she can face squishy champs who she can one shot and kill in a 1v1 with items like Storm Surge. If Riot wants to make her a good jungler they have to buff mid lane Diana as well or just forget about this champion in the jungle. The next buff is to Rek'Sai and as you can already see her buffs are bug fixes and I don't know what to say. I like this champion and I picked her up in the last season. I can see why Riot thinks her laterality style was a problem but in my opinion this champion was balanced and last season or even before that we had bigger problems just in the jungle than Rek'Sai being able to go laterality and one shot someone if she was ahead. So it really sucks that she was playable for me for only half a year. These map changes didn't help her at all and the meta became slower so it was already challenging to close out games and get ahead consistently even before this mini river. But slowly she becomes better and better again and I think after the bug fixes you should start playing her because Riot will eventually make her a strong pick which I can only recommend. These were all the buffs for the next patch and now let's see the jungle nurse where first champion is Briar. She will lose 5% healing on W and 5% attack speed as well which will make her early to mid game a little bit weaker. Her old damage is also being nursed so she becomes slightly weaker in the late game as well. This nerf, as Riot said, was intended to make her a little bit weaker in the lower ranks while trying to add some more skill expression and because of that she can jump towards with Q. Which I think is totally useless change because most likely you will never use this, at least definitely not when you are trying to gank. Sometimes you might be able to escape because of that, but overall she is a champ who wants to go in, create chaos and destroy the enemy team. So if you have to run, you messed up something in the first place. Some people said she will be unplayable after these changes which is not true at all and just play her like a bruiser champ. She remains amazing for lower ranks and even for higher ranks like gold, blood and emerald. She is struggling a little bit in masters and above but that doesn't matter for 99% of the people anyways. Next champion is Volibear and since his recent buffs I told this to everyone to start playing Volibear he will be broken as plus tier champion. And here he is broken jungler who is amazing duelist with too much movement speed it almost feels like Hecarim 2.0 but with more damage and less scaling. If they want to make him a viable jungle and top laner, which he already was, even before these changes, just not on S tier jungler, they have to buff his damage over his Q movement speed. And I think this is the right approach of nerfing him to reduce the movement speed he gets from Q. This ability has no counterplay and I would prefer him to deal more damage, but his Q cooldown doesn't refresh when he is hit by XTC. I didn't understand these buffs in the previous patch to his Q in the first place. This just shows how incompetent the balance team is time to time and they don't know anything about builds because an item like that man's blade is a must have not just for top but for jungle volibear as well. That item gives too much movement speed, it's really cheap so buffing his Q which gives even more movement speed was such a dumb buff. But I like the nerf on his Q and ult as well but he still stays in a great spot after these changes so keep playing him. Let's talk about Kane who received an adjustment dispatch and this is a buff but a nerf as well. Let me explain, so assassin Kane will 
the last damage and I'm glad for this because I hate facing this champion. It's personal for me and I enjoy being able to ban him whenever something else isn't more broken like Polybe in this case. Meanwhile Rust will receive a small buff but this is definitely a smaller buff than how big the nerf is for Blue King. Riot wants to balance both forms and make it pretty much even which I can agree with and feel free to play him after next patch as well. He is not the best right now but for one tricks he is amazing and thanks to the item changes both forms can work pretty well depending on which one you need. The last thing I want to talk about is the item changes and the first change is to infinity edge receiving a 10% crit damage buff which is very welcome for graves and kindred and the extra 5% armor pen both on lord dominic and mortal reminder is amazing but I'm a little bit scared about lord dominic's buffs. The giant slayer passive is already amazing if your champ doesn't have too much max HP while you're facing champs like Choga, Sion, etc. The last change which will affect jungle is to Duran's items and junglers not being able to buy them if they have jungle item. I already explained this change yesterday in my short video so check that out. Here they are this change sucks and I don't like it at all. They should have just nerfed the Duran's items in general and not make jungle weaker once again. Anyways thank you so much for watching. If you want to know how to play jungle in season 14 not just with Grace but with any jungler then check out this video as well.